Hey everyone, Crayon here. Today's video contains everything you need to know about unlocking levels, stage events, event logs, and endings in the newest book, Dominic's Disappearance. Overall, this book needs Leo's Goodwill raised to level 7, Jack's Goodwill raised to level 8, and Alkin's Goodwill raised to level 8. So if you're ready, let's jump into the book and search for Dominic. Stage 1-1 doesn't have any choices, so let's just read through the story to clear the level. This stage unlocks quite a few event logs, and to view the descriptions of these event logs, you may check it in your recollection or simply tap on the highlighted word in the story. Clearing this level will also unlock our very first album art, Fallen Star. Stage 1-2 has two stage events to unlock, you will get one when you obtain the ending, A Futile Life, and you will get the other one by unlocking stage 1-3. This stage has three sets of choices. The first set does not affect the story but selecting Don't Trust Him will increase Alkin Road's goodwill. The second set of choices does not affect both story and companion goodwill so you can choose whatever option here without affecting the future stages. The third set of choices is where we get all the stage events. Selecting I'll figure it out as I go will unlock the ending A Futile Life. While selecting I'll come up with a plan will let you proceed to stage 1-3. To unlock 1-3, just select I'll come up with a plan in the third set of choices in 1-2. 1-3 is an easy stage with just one stage event. Also, its choices does not affect the story and switching between them won't cost us an additional stamina. Stage 1-4 has two stage events to unlock. To get the first one, we have to obtain the ending sidetracked. To do that, just select Speak with the Sun News Reporter in the Choices. To get the second stage event, we have to unlock stage 1-5. So just replay this stage and this time select Ask Director Richmond a question. Aside from unlocking 1-5, this choice also unlocks two event logs, the Rhodes family and the Oakwood salon. But before we move on to the next stage, here are the choices in 1-4 and how they affect the story. To unlock 1-5, just select Ask Director Richmond a question in 1-4. To play 1-5, first you must have Alkin's goodwill raised to level 2. We are also required to have the Empress dress in our wardrobe. This is an encounter dress so there's no crafting needed here. Again, this is another easy stage. Whatever choices you make here won't affect the future stages of the story. Clearing this level will also unlock the second album art, Fight Beneath the Stars.
Stage 1-6 has two stage events, which we can get by unlocking 1-7 and by obtaining the ending Time Waits for No One. For this stage, we have two sets of choices. The first set does not really affect the story. But the second set of choices is where we obtain all two stage events. If we chose to infiltrate Gilligan Academy now, you will move on to stage 1-7. But if you chose to continue training, your story will end here and you will obtain the ending time waits for no one. To unlock 1-7, make sure you select Infiltrate Gilligan Academy now in 1-6. To proceed with this stage, first you need Jack's Goodwill raised to level 2. We also need to craft the Honeybee Top. You will get the blueprint of this by getting a perfect score in 1-4. Stage 1-7 also has two stage events which we will get by unlocking stages 1-8 and 1-9. There is only one set of choices here. If you chose to check out the Drama Club, you will unlock 1-8. To unlock 1-9, just replay 1-7 and this time select the Flora Club. To unlock 1-8, just select the Drama Club in 1-7. This stage has two stage events that we can get by obtaining the ending Loose Lips Sink Ships and by unlocking stage 1-10. 1-8 has two sets of choices. The first one does not affect the story but each of these options unlocks different event logs. If you chose Quasimodo, it will increase Leo's goodwill and it will also unlock event log Quasimodo. If you choose Claude, you will unlock event log Claude Frollo. Again, the second set of choices is where we obtain all two stage events. Selecting Refute counts as one stage event and will lead you to the ending Loose Lips Sink Ships. Selecting Hold Back will let you unlock the event log and then there were none. It also counts as one stage event and will unlock stage 1-10. To unlock 1-9, select the Flora Club in 1-7. There are two stage events to unlock here. To get the first one, we have to obtain the ending to Outspoken. To do that, just select Ask about Leo's relationship with Lily. Now, this option should lead you to this stage ending. To get the second stage event, just replay 1-9 and this time select Ask about Lily's identity. This option will also let you proceed to 1-10. To unlock 1-10, you can either do it by choosing Hold Back in 1-8 or Ask about Lily's identity in 1-9. To proceed with this stage, we are required to have Leo's goodwill raised to level 2. We also need to craft the utmost elegance hair. Its blueprint can be obtained by getting a perfect score in stage 1-5. The choices in this stage does not affect the future stages of the story but choosing to ask will increase Jack's goodwill.
stage 1-11 requires for us to have Alkin's Goodwill raised to level 3. This is quite an easy stage with no choices, so let's just enjoy the story to clear the level. Stage 1-12 requires for us to have Jack's Goodwill raised to level 3. We also need to craft the chivalrous style top. You can obtain the blueprint of this by getting a perfect score in 1-3. This stage has three sets of choices but none of them affects the future stages of the story. For the first set of choices, selecting Ask Jax about Leo will increase Jack's goodwill. For the second set, choosing to celebrate his birthday will increase Leo's goodwill. The third set does not have any effect on both the story or any companion goodwill. None of these sets of choices requires additional stamina when switching, so you can always replay the level to see what the other dialogue looks like. Stage 1-13 requires Leo's goodwill raised to level 3. This stage has two stage events which we can get by obtaining the ending self-preservation and by unlocking stage 1-14. This also has two sets of choices but only the second set will affect the story. For the first set of choices, choosing to discuss Alkin and Marcus with Jax will increase Alkin's goodwill. Now to get the ending for this stage, just select blend in with the crowd in the second set of choices. This choice should lead you to the ending, self-preservation. To unlock stage 1-14, simply replay this level and this time select stand up for Marcus in the second set of choices. This choice will also increase Alkin's goodwill a second time. To unlock stage 1-14, select Stand Up for Marcus in the second set of choices in 1-13. This stage has two stage events which we can get by unlocking Lose the Race and Win the Race paths in the flowchart. Here we have two sets of choices. The first set does not affect the story, but if you chose to distance yourself, it will increase Alkin's goodwill. Again, the second set of choices is where we get all the stage events. To get the first stage event, just select the original route. This will unlock Lose the Race path and will let you move on to 1-15. This will also unlock an important option in 1-15. Now if we check on the flowchart, we already have unlocked Lose the Race Path. To get the second stage event, just replay 1-14 and this time select the Steep Shortcut. This option will increase Alkin's goodwill a second time. This will also unlock another important option in 1-15. Going back to the flowchart, you'll see we've unlocked Win the Race Path. Stage 1-15 has three stage events which we can get by unlocking 2-8 from two different paths and unlocking 1-16. For the first stage event, let's unlock 1-16 first. To do this, let us first replay stage 1-14 and make sure we select the original path. Once you've done that, you may now play 1-15. Notice that in the first set of choices, I want your help option is currently locked. We're gonna unlock that when we change our choices in 1-14 later on. For now, let's just select I work alone. This choice will take us to a second set of choices. Notice also in the second set of choices, the option Wizard of Oz is locked. We will also unlock that by changing our choices in 1-14 later on. 
For now, let us select the Sparrow. Now we have unlocked 1-16, which counts as one stage event. This also unlocks Seek the Sparrow path in the flowchart. To get the second stage event, let's unlock 2-8 from the Seek Roderick's Help path. So again, let's replay 1-14 and select the steep shortcut. Once that's done, let's replay 1-15. And now you'll see that you can now select I want your help option, so let's tap on that. Now we have unlocked 2-8 following the Get Roderick's Help path. To get the third and final stage event, Again, let's unlock 2-8, but this time from the Sick the Wizard of Oz path. To do that, make sure you have already selected the steep shortcut in 1-14, then we can play 1-15. Select I'll work alone in the first set of choices. Again, this option will take you to a second set of choices. And notice that the Wizard of Oz option is also available now, so let's tap on that. And now, checking back on the flowchart, you will see that these steps have also unlocked Seek the Wizard of Oz path. But before we move on to the next stage, here are all the choices for 1-15 and how they can be unlocked and how they affect the story. This stage requires us to have Jack's Goodwill raised to level 4. We also need to craft the Unwavering Faith earrings. You can purchase the blueprint of this in Parvin's shop for 160 diamonds. 116 has only one set of choices that does not affect the story, but choosing Deny Everything will increase Jack's Goodwill. Stage 1-17 has two stage events. To get one stage event, we need to unlock 1-18 from the Drama Club path. So let's go back to 1-7 and select Drama Club. Then let's play 1-8 and select Hold Back. This is just to make sure that none of our stages are stuck in an ending. Now once you've done that, let's jump to 1-14 and select the original route. Next, let's play 1-15 and select I'll work alone in the first set of choices. And select the Sparrow in its second set of choices. Now we can proceed to 1-17 to get our first stage event. The choices here does not really affect the story, though choosing try to sound him out will increase Jack's goodwill. But notice that this option is currently locked, we will have it unlocked when we change our choice in 1-7 later. Now to get the second stage event, we need to unlock 1-18 from the Flora Club path. So, let's go back to 1-7 again, and this time let's select the Flora Club. Then, let's play 1-9 and select Ask About Lily's Identity. Again, this is just to make sure none of the stage in our path is stuck in an ending. Then, proceed to play 1-14 and select the original route. Next, let's replay 1-15 and select I'll work alone in the first set of choices. And select the Sparrow in the second set of choices. And lastly, let's replay 1-17. Now you'll see we are now able to tap on the try to sound him out option. 
and now Jack's goodwill had increased. And that's it, that should unlock our second stage event. But before we go to the next stage, here are all the choices for 1-17 and how they affect the story. Stage 1-18 requires us to have Jack's goodwill raised to level 5. We also need to craft the flight path pants. You may get the blueprint of these pants by getting the perfect score in 1-6. 118 has three sets of choices. The first set does not affect the story, but choosing to express concern will increase Leo's goodwill. The second and third set of choices is where we get all three stage events for this level. To get the first stage event, we have to unlock 2-1 from Ask Jax for Help path. To do that, let's select Jax in the second set of choices. Now we have unlocked 2-1, and if we check on the flowchart, you will see Ask Jax for Help path is now unlocked. To get the second stage event, we have to unlock 2-1 from Ask About the Microdots path. So let's just replay 118 and this time select Roderick in the second set of choices. This option will open a third set of choices and from there, select Ask About the Microdots directly. Now if we go back to the flowchart, you will see that the second path is now unlocked. Now, to get the third and final stage event, we have to unlock 2-1 from Sound Roderick Out Path. To do that, select Roderick in the second set of choices, then select Sound Roderick Out in the third set of choices. And there you go, we have obtained all three stage events for this level. But before we move on to the next stage, here are all the choices for 1-18 and how they affect the story. Stage 2-1 has two stage events. To get the first one, we have to obtain the ending Exposed Identities. To do this, just select Be Suspicious of Jax in the Choices. Now, to get the second stage event, we have to unlock 2-2. So, let's just replay 2-1 and this time select Trust Jax. This option also increases Jax's goodwill. And now we have unlocked 2-2. To unlock stage 2-2, select Trust Jax in 2-1. This stage has three stage events. Let's get the first one by obtaining the ending Lifelong Regret. There are two ways to get this ending. For the first option, we'll go back to 118, select Roderick in the second set of choices, select Sound Roderick out in the third set of choices. Once you've done that, then you can now go and play 2-2. And from 2-2's choices, just select Salon. As you can see, it leads us to the lifelong regret ending. For the second option to get this same ending, just go back to 1-18 and select Jax in the second set of choices. Then play 2-2 again and select Salon. This will also lead us to the lifelong regret ending. Now for the second stage event, we'll go back again to 1-18 Select Roderick in the second set of choices, then select Ask About the Micro Dots directly in the third set of choices. 
Then let's go to 2-2 and again select Salon. These steps will lead us to the ending misplaced trust. Now for the third stage event, we have to unlock 2-3. To do that, just replay 2-2 and select Offwood in the choices. And there you go, we have unlocked 2-3 and we have gathered all three stage events for this level. To unlock 2-3, just select Awkward in 2-2. This stage requires us to craft the mottled shimmer hair. You can obtain the blueprint of this hair by getting a perfect score in 116. So there are three stage events in this level. To get the first one, let's obtain the ending one wrong move. To do that, just play this level and select play along with Lily in the choices. Now checking on the flowchart, you'll see that we did obtain the ending one wrong move. To get the second stage event, we have to unlock 2-4 from Respect Leo's Decision Path. And to do that, just replay 2-3, select Try to Stop the Game in the first set of choices. This will take you to a second set of choices and from there select Respect Leo's Decision. Now we have unlocked 2-4 but we still have one more stage event to obtain. So again, let's replay 2-3. Select try to stop the game in the first set of choices. Then select insist on stopping the game in the second set of choices. This choice will also increase Leo's goodwill. Going back to the flowchart, you'll see we have unlocked 2-4 from Insist on Stopping the Game Path. To unlock 2-4, just select Try to Stop the Game in 2-3. This stage requires us to have Jack's Goodwill raised to level 6. This is an easy stage without any choices, so let's just enjoy reading the story until we clear the level. Stage 2-5 requires us to have Leo's goodwill raised to level 6. Again, this is another easy stage, but its choices will affect 219 later on. Choosing to insist on saving Leo will increase both Jack's and Leo's goodwill. Two dash six is another easy stage. The choices here will affect two nineteen later on. But if you choose to proceed with rescuing Leo now, it will increase Jack's and Leo's goodwill. Stage 2-7 requires Jack's goodwill raised to level 7. We are also required to craft the Brilliant Star Necklace. Its blueprint can be obtained by getting a perfect score in 2-3. Stage 2-7 does not have any choices so all we have to do is enjoy the story. Clearing this level will unlock album art farewell at the station. It will also unlock 2-17.
There are two ways to unlock 2-8. The first option is to select the steep shortcut in 114 and I want your help in 115. The second option is to select steep shortcut in 114, I'll work alone in 115's first set of choices and the Wizard of Oz in the second set of choices. This stage requires us to have Alkin's Goodwill level 4, we also have to craft the Whispers in the Rain hat. Its blueprint can be purchased in Farben Shop for 275 diamonds. So 2-8 has no choices but it has two stage events to unlock. For the first stage event, I'm gonna unlock the given a rose path in the flowchart first. So let's go back to 114, select the steep shortcut in its second set of choices, then replay 115 and select I'll work alone in the first set of choices, then select the Wizard of Oz in the second set. Now you may play 2-8. And there's our rose. Now let's just enjoy the rest of the story to clear the level. So now we have unlocked 2-9 and checking on the flowchart we are now in given a rose path which counts as one stage event. For the second stage event let's unlock the given a cornflower path. So again let's go back to 114 and select the steep shortcut. Then replay 115 and select I want your help. Now replay 2-8. Let's get that cornflower and enjoy the rest of the story. Going back to the flowchart again, you will see that we are now in the given cornflower which also counts as one stage event. Stage 2-9 only have one stage event but it has two paths to unlock the flowchart. Since I left 2-8 in a given cornflower path, I'll play 2-9 from that path first to save me some stamina. So again, to get to the given cornflower path, you need to select the steep shortcut in 114. I want your help in 115, play 2-8, and now we play 2-9. This stage has no choices, so let's just enjoy reading through the story. Now we have unlocked 2-10, and checking on the flowchart, we are currently in the given a cornflower and question Alkin path. To play the lower path or the given a rose path, we have to go back to 114 and make sure the steep shortcut is selected. Then go to 115 and select I'll work alone in the first set of choices. Then, select the Wizard of Oz in the second set of choices. Then, let's play 2-8 and get that white rose to lock the flowchart in place. And lastly, let's play 2-9. Going back to the flowchart, you will see we are now in the lower path. Stage 2-10 requires us to have Alkin's Goodwill raised to level 5. We also need to craft the Blue Memories earrings. Its blueprint can be obtained by getting a perfect score in 2-8. Again, this stage has no choices, so let's just read the story until we clear the level. Stage 2-11 requires us to have Leo's Goodwill raised to level 5. This stage has no choices as well.
stage 2-12 has two stage events. To get the first one, let's obtain the ending and eventful life. And to do that, simply choose Doubt Him in the choices. As you see in the flowchart, the ending Uneventful Life is now obtained. To get the second stage event, we have to unlock 2-13, so just replay this level and select Trust Him. This choice will also increase Alkin's goodwill. To unlock 2-13, just select Trust Him in 2-12. This stage has two stage events. To get the first one, let's obtain the ending, Fatal Oversight. To do that, just select Go Along With It in the Choices. Checking on the flowchart, you will see this stage ending is now obtained. For the second stage event, we have to unlock 2-14, so let's replay this level and select question Marcus. And now 2-14 is unlocked. To unlock stage 2-14, select question Marcus in 2-13. This stage requires us to have Alkin's Goodwill raised to level 6. We also need to craft the Monet's Garden Dress. Its blueprint can be obtained by getting a perfect score in 115. This stage also has no choices and clearing this will unlock album art Dancing in Darkness. Stage 2-15 requires Leo's Goodwill at level 6. It also requires us to craft the Swap Knight Hat. You will get its blueprint in your mail after upgrading Alkin's Goodwill to level 5. This stage has only one set of choices that does not affect the story, but choosing Ask Alkin to look around will increase his Goodwill. Clearing this level will also unlock Album Art Submerged. Stage 2-16 requires us to have Alkin's Goodwill raised to level 7. This stage has two stage events. To get the first one, we have to obtain the ending misplayed. To do that, just play to 16 and select play along in the choices. Now we have obtained the ending, Misplayed. Let's get the second stage event by unlocking 217. So simply replay this level and this time select Agitate Marcus. Now we can play 217. Stage 217 can be unlocked from two different paths. You can either unlock it by clearing 2-7 or you can unlock it by selecting Agitate Marcus in 216. This stage requires us to have Leo's Goodwill raised to level 7. We have three stage events to unlock. To get the first one, let's obtain the ending game of death. And to do that, just play this level and select Look for Dominic in the second set of choices. And there you go, we now got our ending and that's one stage event down. To get the second stage event, we have to unlock stage 218. So to do that, let's go back to 114 and select the steep shortcut.
Then go to 115 and select I want your help. Once you've done that, you can now replay 2-8 and get that cornflower. Then we can now play 217 and select look for a way out in the second set of choices. Now stage 218 is unlocked. These steps will also unlock investigate the Wizard of Oz path in the flowchart. To get the third stage event, we need to unlock 219. So, go back to 114, this time select the original route. Then, play 115. In 115, select I'll work alone in the first set of choices. Then select the sparrow in the second set. Next, play 1 18 and select jacks. Then play 2 1 and trust jacks. To let the flowchart click in place, let's play 2-2 and select Awkward. Then, let's play 2-3 and select Try to stop the game. This is just to make sure that no stage in our path is currently stuck in an ending. Now just replay 2-7 to keep being in the sparrow path and replay 2-17 and select Look for a way out. And that should unlock tonight. To unlock 2 18, just follow these steps. Dash 18 requires us to have Alkin's Goodwill level 8 and it requires us to craft the Ancient Waltz shoes. You may get the blueprint of this by getting a perfect score in 213. This stage has no choices but there are two stage events here which we will unlock by obtaining two different endings. So for the first stage event, let's obtain the ending Divergent Path. You can do this by going back to 217 and select the painting's details in the first set of choices, then start playing 218. Now we have unlocked the ending, Divergent Path. To get the second stage event, let's unlock the ending, Intimate Times. To do that, go back to 217 and this time select the painting's frame in the first set of choices. Then again, replay 2 18. And there you go, we got the ending and to make times. Now we have obtained all endings for this level, now let's go to the Sparrow's route in 219. To unlock 2-19, we must be on the Sparrow path, so just follow these steps.
This stage has no choices, but it has three stage events to unlock. To get the first one, we have to gain Leo's complete trust and unlock 2-20. To do that, make sure you select try to stop the game in 2-3's first set of choices. Then, insist on stopping the game in 2-3's second set of choices. Then, go to 2-5 and select Insist on Saving Leo. Then, play 2-6 and select Proceed with Rescuing Leo. Then, replay 2-17 and select the painting's frame. And lastly, replay 2-19. Now, 2-20 is unlocked. To get the second stage event, let's obtain the ending Trusted Companion. To get this, go back to 2-3 and select Try to Stop the Game and Respect Leo's Decision. Then, go to 2-5 and select Hesitate in the options. Then, play 2-6 and select think of another plan then replay 2-17 and select the painting's frame in the first set of choices and again let's replay 2-19 these steps should lead you to the ending trusted companion this also unlocks Don't Have Leo's Complete Trust path in the flowchart. To get a third and final stage event, let's obtain the ending Long Road Ahead. To do this, let's go back to 217 and select the painting's details in its first set of choices and play 219. And that's it, we got all three stage events for this level. To unlock 2-20, just follow these steps. This stage requires Jack's goodwill raised to level 8. We also need to craft the ancient packed hair. Its blueprint can be obtained in your mail after you upgrade Leo's goodwill to level 5. This is the final stage in this book and we only need to get one ending to clear this, so just read through the story to clear the level. Clearing this will also unlock album art a fresh start. So that's it, as you can see we have completed all stages and unlocked all stage event. If you want to go for 100% completion, just craft all the remaining items and you'll be able to get the profile reward. That's gonna do it guys, if there are event logs or paths that I missed, please let me know in the comments. If you find this video helpful in your Dominic's disappearance journey, please consider hitting that like and subscribe button. That's all for now lovelies, I'll see you in the next vlog.